Ladies and gentlemen, the American Jury and Bulldog Nation, today's show is sponsored by the Butcher of Pakistan book release, which is coming up on Tuesday, 6 o'clock at the Sharonville Convention Center. And you can pre-order the book uh, at thebutcherofpakistan.com or Acclaim Press. And it is going to be something else. Very proud of the book. Well, the number one story today is the television hearing committee last night. This was orchestrated by a former ABC news director, which apparently, as you know, is all part of the American Communist 10. This is how they work together. And remember, they do this in prime time to try to get more people to watch it. It's unbelievable. I want to go all the way back to the beginning of this committee. One of the things that the committee uh, did is Nancy Pelosi refused to sit the three House members that the Republican Party picked to be on this committee, including Jim Jordan. Unprecedented. She refused the three people that the Republicans wanted to sit on this committee. So the Republicans say, I'm not going to be on the committee. So what do they do? They pick Kissinger and they pick uh, Liz Cheney, the haters. <laughs> Can't make it up. But as I joked last night, with all the viewing options we have in the evening, who's going to watch that stuff except the haters? I can tell you right now, I'm speaking for all Trump supporters. We didn't watch it. I didn't watch it. I'm not going to watch it. We don't know what they're going to say, what they're going to do. It's a joke. By the way, one of the things that it reinforces, and I feel like a prophet, you have to, those of you that have followed me for a long time, you know that I'm pretty good at this stuff. Who is the one Trump family member that I said I didn't like? Ivanka. Ivanka and Jared. They're, they are de devious little folks, man. It's all about them. They ran from dad as quick as they can. At the same time, while he was president, Jared Kushner refinances that building that was going to bankrupt him. Then he does the Middle East stuff. He starts a hedge fund with the Middle East money. I mean, I'm sorry, Jared Kushner is just another Hunter Biden that doesn't have all the vices. <laughs> but when it comes to the money thing and playing his position, are you kidding me? And what happens to all these people like Megyn Kelly and the others that veer off course, they always regret it because the other side doesn't want them. News flash to you, Ivanka, the left doesn't like you either. It's unbelievable. So it's a bunch to do about nothing. Uh, the other a couple comments I want to make about it is, is the way they use the word stolen and they use the word overturn instead of challenge or dispute or anything like that, because that doesn't fit their picture. All right, shrink inflation is the new thing. Of course, I've been seeing this going around for a long time. Uh, I'll use an example, a restaurant I go to a lot, Panera. I noticed prices were same, portions were reduced. So shrinkflation is going on in grocery stores, going on restaurants, everything else. What it is, is they shrink the product, their cost of goods, but the price stays the same. Gas is now averaging over $5 across the country, a first. Many believe it'll go to six, some even 10. Can't make this up. Joe Biden is using an airlines that's controlled by the Taliban to get Afghanis out of Afghanistan if they want. I'm making a joke about it. I'm calling it Air Taliban. Mayorkas continues to take all of these illegal immigrants and put them all over the United States. This is the most treasonous thing I've ever seen. I, I cannot believe we don't have Republicans saying treason, treason, treason. Uh, intentionally allow an illegal immigration in this country. Uh, it's unfathomable. A whistleblower has come forward to say that the disinformation board, the game plan was the government was going to decide what the facts were. A CNN op-ed, by the way, CNN let them do it, so this is their endorsement of this, uh, the Second Amendment needs to be repealed. Yeah, we'll just repeal it. An FBI Michigan candidate that's running against, G G an FBI, the FBI has arrested a Michigan candidate, a Republican candidate running against Whitmer, who was present at January 6th. The FBI is the most disgraced organization 
uh, in Washington right now. And they continue to be. The FBI has no credibility of anything. None. Uh, Trump still leads the whole field for the Republican nomination for president in 2024. And by the way, remember, that's what these hearings are all about. Trying to keep Trump from being president again. Mortgage rates went over 5%, highest they've been in a long time. Sad to report, but we will always report this. Sadly, a aircraft carrier crashed, an aircraft crashed, and five Marines were killed in California. God bless them and their family. LIV golf is causing great, a great stir. This is where there's this uh, Saudi uh, pulling away uh, people from the uh, PGA Tour, and it just goes to t- show you the power of money. In other words, are these golf, the PGA is going to hit back, but are some of these golfers, I don't know what the details are going to be, but are they going to give up the chance to win those grand slams to make, just make that money? I guess so. Oakland has declared racism a public health crisis. <laughs> By the way, there's no hearings televised at night in Congress. Think about this. No televised hearings in Congress about inflation, uh, about all the black-on-black killings. None of those issues. We're not going to do prime time hearings then, only when it involves Trump. This is the Bulldog. Every dog has their day. Have a great day.